Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're gonna be making a breakfast fit for a king. We're only gonna be using one skillet, that's the challenge. We're also using our old comb and cook stove. One skillet breakfast, meat, potatoes, and eggs over easy. If that's something that interests you, stick around and let's get to the video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another one skillet meal. This is actually gonna be for breakfast. We're going to start out with some red potatoes. We're just going to slice them up kind of thin. Again, the whole goal in this is a single breakfast in one skillet with minimal cleanup. So we'll finish chopping these potatoes up. If you watched our last video, it was using two of these minute steaks. We're going to cook the other two for breakfast this morning. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, perfect time for breakfast. Buster finally woke up. He slept in today, but what a beautiful day it is. A little bit of cloud cover. You guys know I like my food spicy, so we will be using a jalapeno. I'm sure you figured it out. We're gonna have two minute steaks, some potatoes, peppers, and then we're gonna top it off with some eggs over easy. I'm gonna flip the camera around and take you right on over here to our skillet. And yes, we're using the trusty old school white gas cooker. Again, if, if you're new to using this, basically you need to light that and let it burn for about a minute. What you're essentially doing is you're heating up this main tube that runs across the top of that flame. And then if you remember, we've got this small valve right over here. We're gonna turn that down. That should clean up your flame. Guys, this is, again, we've talked about it in the last video. This is one of these skillets made by our place. And this is what your little tray should look like, right? When you get ready to run over there, we've also got our eggs right there. If you are curious about the board, we did make that along with that walnut bowl that the eggs are sitting in. I'll give you guys a real quick tip, and I probably should have done it, but if you'll start this grease and get it going, it shouldn't take you that long to cut the potatoes and that'll speed this process up. Especially if it looks like it's about to rain on you or something and you're trying to speed it up. Because again, we got good cloud cover. I'm gonna go ahead and get these potatoes in. Try to get all the potatoes touching. Again, these you can see, they're just your standard red potatoes. You could use whatever potatoes you take to camp, and it's not gonna take very long. A lot of times I'll leave those jalapenos to last or keep them on top of a potato. And let these cook just a little bit longer and I'll come right back to you guys. You're not, trust me, you're not gonna miss a thing. This is an awesome meal, and you don't wanna miss it. As you can see on this cook stove, we've got these big side walls plus the back wall. And that really is designed to help you with the wind. Right now, the wind is actually coming from my back. So what you wanna just keep in mind is kinda of keep in mind which way your flame is kinda of going and the heat's going. You can kinda of move your pan around so that you're centering that heat. Even though you're gonna have a little bit of a breeze, this is just one of those little quick tips to kinda of get you a little bit more efficiency out of your cook stove when you're cooking outside. We'll go ahead and put that lid on there, let it cook a little bit longer. We're trying to get those potatoes 90, about 85, 90% done, and then we're gonna throw our steaks in. Again, sticking with the theme of keeping it simple, we're just gonna use two real generic spices. I love the garlic salt. We'll do both sides of these steaks. And again, these are minute steaks. I bought a pack of four on purpose because I've found that two steaks for dinner and two for breakfast We'll fill a good sized man up. I'm not huge, but generally you are using, burning more calories. If you're out in the woods hiking around and it doesn't matter if you're taking pictures or what you're doing, you're gonna be burning more calories than probably sitting behind the computer screen editing videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our potatoes are, they're definitely what I would call at least 80% done, if not more. We're gonna kind of scoot these over here we're gonna get this first minute steak, set it right over there. Gonna get, get our other one, shove it down in there. Let's get that jalapeno out from under it. We don't want our jalapeno torched. And it's not gonna take long on these minute steaks, guys. And scrape the rest of that 
goodness off of our tray right on in there. That way we still got all the spices in there. And again, these minute steaks are just that. It doesn't take long to cook these things up, especially with that grease. The grease is good and hot. Keeping our potatoes over here on this side. And again, if you guys are ever wondering why I generally take at least a 12 inch skillet with me, it's because I've found that it's easier to clean one 12 inch skillet than it is two 10 inch skillets. It's a lot less water, a lot less waste, and camping in primitive areas where you're hauling your water in, that's not a lot of fun. Good Lord has blessed me with some good cloud cover, so this is really good lighting if you're into photography or video stuff. Your cloudy days bring out some of the most vibrant colors, especially in flowers or birds if you're doing the bird photography. A lot of people think you don't want to go out, and I'll even go a step further. If you'll go out and do portraits, you'll get some of the best portraits with the most beautiful skin tones by shooting in the shade. And shade from a cloud is just like using a huge soft box inside in a studio. You can produce some of the most beautiful portraits and it doesn't matter if it's wildlife people our steaks are really really close to getting done and as soon as they get about the same like we did on the potatoes as soon as they're close to that 80 percent done we're going to slide them over here on top of our potatoes and then i'll get our eggs going we will lower that heat down some for the eggs because you don't want to you don't want to zap your eggs. They don't need to be cooking in that high heat. That's one of the big problems. That, that's one of the problems that a lot of mistakes that are made at camp, especially when it comes to eggs, is throwing them on a really, really hot griddle or really, really hot grease. You want that grease to cool down some. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and call that done enough on these potatoes for sure. Again, you can use your paper plate or whatever you're going to put that on and I'm just doing this to give us a little more room for these eggs. We've got an extra paper plate that we will use for dinner tonight to cover it up to keep that heat in. Next up we're going to get these eggs going. The goal is over easy but we're going to take them just fine. Remember the first year I went to deer camp with my father-in-law he asked me he said how do you like your eggs? I said, oh man, I love them over easy. And he said, so you want them just fine? And basically that was his way of telling me when I become camp cook, I can cook them how I want. But until then, they'll be just fine. And I may have put that flame down just a little bit too low. I'll give you guys another secret about eggs too. If you don't know and you like your eggs sunny side up, See this circle right around in here? That inner circle close to the sunny side of your egg, your yolk. If you're having trouble getting that to cook all the way through, sometimes you can go in here and just poke a few little holes in it like that. Now I plan on flipping these over so it doesn't really matter. But you poke a few little holes in it like that and it'll help that rest of that white cook up. All right, our steaks are done. We're gonna go ahead and pull them. So it'll just make flipping these eggs a little bit easier. If you can kind of separate the eggs, that'll make that process a little bit easier also. We got one flipped. I'll, I'll call that a success. The other one flipped. Call that a success. The other one flipped. I'd say we got three successes there. At this point right here, we're gonna go ahead and just shut that gas off because this ain't gonna take but a second or two. Reset up the camera and show you how we plop these on top of those steaks. All right, I'm gonna put that one on. If you guys have high cholesterol like me and you've got extra paper towels there at camp, you might wanna pat that down just a little bit to get rid of some of that grease. I know that that's not super awesome for people with high cholesterol 
But again, we're at camp. Let's sit down and eat this. Oh, the eggs are perfect. Might be a little bit dunner than I would like, but you know what? That's part of the, they might be a hair dunner than I would prefer, but that's part of the fun of being at camp. Camp eggs always taste better than store-bought eggs. <laughs> Get a little bit of dirt, a little bit of salt. Well, let's see what it tastes like. You ever been at one of them restaurants? One of the fancy ones, you know, maybe the ones you get to go to once a year, or once a decade. I've got several forks laid out amongst the plates and then towards the very, what you think is the end of the meal, your mom or your grandma or maybe even somebody, a good friend of yours nudges you and says, hey, hang on to your fork as they're coming around and gathering up that last plate. You wanna know why they tell you to hang on to your fork? Because the best is yet to come. I wish y'all were here. Let's see if it's, uh, <laughs> let's see if it's Buster approved. What do you think, kid? Definitely Buster approved. Again, guys, this is a meal. Fit for a king. You're at camp, camping in style. Potatoes. Perfect, perfect potatoes. Eggs, what should have been over easy, turned out just fine. <laughs> My goodness, guys, I wish you was here. I don't know if you can tell it, but I'm hungry. I gave you a tip in this video if you watched it all the way through. Here's your napkin. Keeps you from burning yourself when you go to get that hot french fries, those smoked up steaks and everything off the grill. It keeps you from burning your hand and now you've got a napkin right underneath your plate while you're sitting here at camp. Life is good. I wish you was here. Guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you know somebody that's trying to learn how to do camp cooking and maybe they're new to it or you're new to it, share this with your friends. Share it with your forums that you go to online, Facebook, whatever else. If you found any value at all in our video, some things that could help you the next time you go to camp, please hit the like button and please share with your friends. It's things like that that really help us. We want to continue helping you guys in every way that we can. We can't do this alone. With your help, we can reach thousands. Until next week's video comes out, be sure to click up here. We've got other playlists that we've made, videos especially for you. I hope you all enjoy them. I hope we see you out in the woods or out on the lake somewhere here in deep east Texas. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.